Fortunately, I wait for love, but honestly, it'll never come. In my room is where I'll stay. Oh, I won't go. Oh, I won't run. No one cares about this song. Since you're my legend, I'm still wrong. Oh, honey, I hope I say this right. I love you. You should stay tonight. Alrighty, hello sharks, Sniz here, and you've already seen the gear, so as in the previous gear view overview uh, that I did after the first season of Punch King, you are free to go. There is probably no content that's going to be shown uh, in this video other than that, and I'm just going to ramble for a bit. So to try and keep this maple related, as I have the shark speaks to talk about personal, personal stuff, uh, my gear is as done as I can get it for right now. The only upgrades I really have is Double Prime WSE and Eternal Gear. Uh, you probably saw that I don't have proper three-lined pants, and I'm not going to pursue those because I'll just upgrade to Eternal's. 3% strength is, or less than 3% strength upgrade because that's all stat. It's just not worth pursuing uh, for my pants. Uh, in terms of double priming my gear, I believe everything is double primed that I want to double prime right now besides WSE and besides my ET. ET is technically triple prime, but it's not good <laughs> triple prime by any means. Um, I could double prime the heart, the one droid heart, but I don't really see a reason to as I am, I do see myself eventually able to upkeep black hearts semi-consistently. And therefore I don't think a one droid heart will be necessary or the one droid heart will be equipped as often. I don't think investing in superior Golux gear is worth it at this point, as the calcs are now showing, especially with the extra enhancement that you can, or what is it called, exceptional enhancement that you can do to the pitch boss items. It's it's it beats Golux now uh, for set, even with IED bonus factored in. Um, because of that, I've got lucky enough and got my first pair of CFEs, uh, commanding force earrings, and 22 would them. It was the first time I've ever looted them. I've seen them plenty of times, but never got to loot them because I was on a Kana mule supporting. Uh, other parties, and I 22'd a Daybreak Pendant. Uh, the flame is done on the Daybreak Pendant, the flame is not done on the Commanding Force Earring, so that's what I'm going to be flaming uh, with, you know, boss flames that I get weekly. Uh, I do have a 22 star Reinforced Ring. Um, right now, considering everything that's in the game, damage a fourth damage ring is such a minuscule thing to keep in mind, especially as a Thunderbreaker, it's not used at all. Um, granted, it's not used at all once you have a continuous ring 4 or 5, if you get lucky enough, haha, <laughs> grindstone. Um, but I, if you've noticed, I have every single Oz ring, 
uh, at the relevant levels that I need them to be. Limit and Health Cut don't need to be level 4 uh, to be useful. They can actually, they're best used at level 1, technically speaking, as they consume more HP and that's what they're used to do. They're used to consume your HP and MP to set up Crisis HM4, which requires you to have 5% of your HP and MP at the same time, 5% of in the HP and MP pools or less at the same time to proc a Roar 4 effect. So it's a good dojo ring. Uh, some of the Giga Sweats can actually pop it in bosses, but I would not recommend that. But all that aside, I have all the relevant Oz rings I want. Or all the relevant Oz rings except for Continuous 4 because I grinded out Oz for so long. Um, th that aside, that is my big upgrade. Continuous Ring 4. Thunderbreaker is such a DPM class that there is no other ring that I can see being an upgrade other than Continuous Ring 4, uh, Continuous 4 for, for going forward. Um, it's just too massive. And even considering my familiars, which I don't think I showed actually, which these are the wrong familiar setup, um, I have 95% boss uh, and 6 decks if you really want to count that. Um, and my badges, I guess, for good measure. Badges. I've got the 3% attack badges and 3 IED badges, all stat and 2 damage in there too, and 1% crit rate, which is nifty. That aside, those are my familiars, forgot to show them, so in case you wanted to see those, I did show them. Um, familiars are of course a huge upgrade for me, going from 95% boss to 120% boss at a realistic max is huge, doubt it's ever going to happen because I'm not farming familiars. Um, but back to the continuous ring four. Even with familiars in mind and my double prime secondary of 70 boss, 12 attack, continuous ring four should still be an upgrade. If I do switch to continuous ring four, uh, it will be, a, be an upgrade versus roar four weapon jump swapping. It will only be an upgrade in solo play as far as I'm aware. Roar four optimization, or like in a party optimization, I still want the roar four. And thus that makes continuous four unusable in a party setting due to the quote-unquote lag it takes to actually be usable. Um, other than that, I cannot see a reasonable upgrade besides just pitch bosses, and of course, the most reasonable upgrade is 6-job, which I, as you can see, I have not been really participating in. I've been eh, occasionally grinding, but not nearly as hard as some players have. There's definitely Thunderbreakers that are stronger than me now, due to the fact that they have higher hexa. So when the second season of Punch King comes around, you'll see how washed I am. Uh, other than that, I don't really think there's much to cover. Like, oh, there was one thing I wanted to do. As I said before, um, oh, what is it? As I said before, the fourth damage ring, not super useful. I was pursuing a hybrid or double drop or some sort of like meso meso gear or drop gear equivalent i did not get it i got double prime strength and since the Connor treasure is similar to the reinforced ring it's a little bit weaker it's the exact same as a meister ring but it's a little bit weaker than the reinforced ring but since it's double prime the reinforce is still technically better because it's 22 stars but since it's double prime i figured i would just try and send it it's 30 percent off today if it goes it goes if it booms it booms doesn't even matter. 694, 690. So this is my new fourth damage ring that I'm never gonna use. Let's just, let me just make sure it's better. Yup, very barely better, but it's better. <laughs> so congrats to me, I guess. What a wonderful upgrade that will only see use in Dojo until I get a continuous ring four. Because even in Dojo, once you have continuous ring four, you're using that until you start cycling uh, the skill rings, the uh, skill rings. Um, yeah, I start Extreme Black Mage. It's New Year's Eve today. I start Extreme Black Mage sometime in January. Also hoping to push Normal Kaling or Easy Kaling in some capacity. Still looking for a sixth, and my party comp is really fucked, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I got a bishop, so, you know, that's, that's, that's a nice, that's a privilege, of course. Um, I changed up how Shark Speaks are going to be, do be being done. So I do have one recorded. I actually have two recorded. One is me just rambling again, but I don't know if I'm going to upload that one. And then another one is the new type of format I want to do. That will be up later this week, I believe. Um, or it'll be at the start of next week. 
as I plan to upload this New Year's Day. Um, other than that, I keep going back to that. I don't think I have much updates for you. It's Extreme Black Mage, possibly Kaling, and then we'll see. Obviously, if I want to continue participating in endgame content, I need to grind 6th, but as stated in the last Shark Speak, I'm not <laughs> super keen on doing that. Uh, been doing a lot of other things, but I guess I can cover that in a Shark Speak if relevant or needed. So I'll see you friends when I see you friends. Bye bye.